I'm going to be cleaning Nibbles' cage and I just thought I'd make a tutorial on how to clean a cage um, kind of the same way as you clean a rabbit and guinea pig cage but this is my hamster so I go through what you need to do, what you need and everything so he's in a big cage, it's a really big cage and it takes a while to clean but here's what you're going to need so the first thing you're going to need and probably the most important is some pet safe disinfectant cleaner so I get the Supreme and it's coconut and then you're going to need some substrates so I've got bathing sand and I use wood shavings but they're in the shed because it's such a big bag and I'm not going to bring it in my room they're going to need some bedding material um, I just use shredded tissue but I'm going to add to Carefresh um, you're then going to need some toilet paper a just pen and brush a bin bag a cloth and a bucket of hot soapy water and I've just got um, a couple of drops I've got kind of probably like got plenty of cage disinfectant in there um, so, and a more friendly one and that's why I'm going to put all the plastic toys in and the bottle and the ceramic dish and the wheel so we'll just get on with it um, oh these are optional but I like to wear some gloves so rubber gloves just in case you don't really like touching all the feces and it is pretty disgusting so I do use them so the first thing you're going to do is take your hamster out of his cage he's a bit grumpy because I've just woken him up I've been a boy just woken you up and I'm just going to pop him in his exercise ball or you can pop him in a carrier or let him free range if you've got someone else to look after him I'm just going to pop him in here and he'll go and he'll just go and roll around my bedroom. Yeah, I'm gonna want to take everything out of the cage so we get all the toys off. Got a stick ball, and this big house which I made, and this food ball. the wood shavings off and then kind of look for all the wooden chew don't know what he's done with them all but we have some of them here I don't know if you can see um, and this orange Leave the teddy we're going to take his water bottle off just keep finding everything Look at all the treats. His millet seed. Oh, you only see my face. With our sticks. Just get round there. Not good image. Find anything. And his litter. Which is disgusting. So empty that out instead. Right. Now, there's nothing in there really. So what I've done, I've just popped all his ceramics and wheel and bottle into some water. And if you can see, I just poured some into the wheel and then his litter and his food. It's disgusting. I'll leave them to soak till I've finished the cage. Then I'm going to take just pan and just scrape it all out. And place it in the bin liner. I'm going to want to do that until, obviously, until there's none left. So now it's all empty, I'm going to take my cleaner and I'm just going to spray it everywhere in the cage, especially working in the corners where he sleeps um, and all around the side. Why are you leaving that just so you can start washing all of these? So I'm just going to take the wheel apart, give that a clean and give this a clean. You can spray some more cleaning stuff on it if you like. I'm not going to film me doing it just because water and phones don't go together well at all. So I'll just go back to the cage after this. So, so we've left the cage for about five minutes. Now I'm going to take a scrubbing brush and give it a really good scrub. Especially in the corners.
then I have the scoop tape. You're gonna wanna look at that. You're gonna take your tissue and you're just gonna wipe it out. And if you wanna rinse it into the shower, you can do. But I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm gonna just take the tissue and just kind of wipe it out. You need to make sure you dry it really well because um, hamsters can't get wet and if a substrate gets wet it's going to make their bed quite wet and that's why I'll just do the rest of this and I'll show you. So now you, once the cage is clean you're going to fill it back up with your substrate and your bedding and then you'll place all your toys in. So we'll just tip all the substrate. Sorry about that, I didn't realise that my phone had cut off so um. What I did, I just placed some bedding in this house, put his house back in. I changed it all around as well. And I remembered that I'd lot for left um, his fur class cheese and I'd lost it, so I was rummaging around in the rubbish for it. So I'm gonna dry all these, the cat's come to say hello, and I'm gonna pop them back in and give you an overview. Go, so the cage is all done, so we're just gonna pop our hamster back in. I'll have an explore. Overview. There we go, so now we've got a very clean cage and a very happy hamster. Nibbles! He's just playing. You happy? <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.